I'm going to show you guys how to install Cyanogen Mod 9 on the HP touchpad in just minutes. I'm also going to show you how fast Android runs and how smooth it is on the touchpad. But most importantly, this could very well be the best Android tablet for your money. Let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is install Java onto your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. I'll add all those links below on where to download it. Follow the on-screen instructions, you will be notified when the install is complete. The next step is to install the Palm Novacom driver. There are several ways to install this program, but I found that the easiest way is to just use the Universo Novacom installer. You can download the JAR file from the Google Code website. Um, once you've downloaded, click to run it and download to install drivers. Next, you will need to download all the files you're going to need. You'll find the links in my help zip file below. These consist of Acme Installer, Cyanogen Mod Nightly or Stable Build if they have one, Clockwork Mod, Mooboot, and Google Apps. Take the Acme Installer file that you just downloaded and copy it to the same directory as your Novacom files. Mine was at C Program Files Palm Inc. folder. Now connect your HP touchpad to your computer and enable USB mass storage. Open a file explorer on your computer and navigate to your touchpad drive. Create a folder called CM install and put all the remaining files into that folder. Now we need to eject the touchpad to continue, but don't disconnect it from your computer just yet. Tap on the home button and hit the arrow icon to bring up a list of applications. Navigate to the settings tab, choose device info and select the red reset option button. As soon as the screen goes dark, press and hold the volume up button until you see a big USB icon on your screen. Make sure you wait until your computer is done installing all of the necessary drivers. Once all the drivers have installed correctly, open up command terminal. In Windows, you click on the start menu and type in CMD in the search box. This will open up command prop. Type CD to enter the root directory you will need to go to the programs file folder. In order to do this, type CD program files and hit enter. Next type CD Palm Inc. Make sure you spell it how you see it here with the capital P and the capital I for Inc. Now that we're inside that folder, remember the Acme installer that we copied? Well we need to run it. And in order to run it, we need to run this command. I'll show you on the screen. Once you enter that command, the USB icon should disappear and you should see a bunch of lines of codes running across the screen for several minutes. If everything works correctly, your touchpad should now boot into Mooboot. From here, you need to choose to boot into Clockwork Mod to install Cyanogen Mod. And once we're in Clockwork Mod, we need to use the arrow keys to navigate down and select Install from SD Card. Click and use the home button to confirm. We need to now select the zip from the SD card, which you should be able to locate that in the CM install folder when we copied all of the files in there. Make sure you confirm your selection and find the Cyanogen Mod Nightly or Stable Mod, whichever you decide to download, and push to install. You will need to confirm your selection and this process can take several minutes to install. You will need to repeat that process to install the Google Apps or GAPS zip and choose to reboot the system once you've completed that. When everything installs correctly, your system will reboot and you will be prompt again into Mooboot. Here you should be able to select Cyanogen Mod and you should see an animation plane. This can take several minutes to finalize the installation process. Once everything is installed, set up your new Android device like you normally would and you start to enjoy it. A few things I can recommend are to download Antutu CPU Master and overclock the tablet. What is amazing is how smooth apps run. I was blown away at how great the experience is with almost no lag at all. I mean you could pick up a 32 gigabyte model for right around $200 on eBay. Um, there's no Android tablet at $200 that performs this well. 
even apps that ran terrible on the transformer pad ran a hundred times better here on the touchpad. How can a tablet that was never intended to run Android perform better than 90% of the Android tablets out there? This is to show you how companies just rush to get things out there without properly optimizing things and are giving Android a bad name. CyanogenMod is a group of dedicated developers that have done a phenomenal job creating this build. Even today it is not perfect and certain things don't work. However, it is months and months of development time to bring a stable enough build where the end result is an amazing version of Android the way it was intended to be. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you can see, it was really easy to install. Anybody can do it. It just takes several minutes and you have a very awesome Android tablet that I was blown away at the performance. Um, another benefit is that you can dual boot into WebOS. So I know it's dead and the development is cut off, but it's kind of nice to be able to do that. Um, let me know guys what you want to see as far as any future videos. Uh, follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. I've left the links below. Again, thank you for subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Thanks again.